One of the most common questions we receive regarding argon is, is argon easy to use? And the answer is, it's incredibly easy to use because of one feature, and that feature is the drafting assistant. Here's what I mean. I'm going to grab the line tool, and I want to draw a perfectly horizontal line on my blank sheet of paper here. Well, how do I know if it's horizontal? Well, watch this. I left mouse click. I bring my mouse down here, and look. All of a sudden, the drafting assistant, this little tiny genie that sits behind your monitor, woke up and said, hey, do you want to draw a horizontal line? And I'm going to say, yes, I do. Left click there, and it's done. Now, I want to draw another line that's exactly the same length as that line. And it starts where that line does on the y-axis and ends where it does on another point on y, so on x, excuse me. So I come down here and hit the end point, and look, if I click here and come over here, I don't know where to stop unless I touch the end point, and then I strike that temporary construction line. The drafting assistant does it, click, and there we go. Is that amazing or what? And now I can come down here, and if I want to draw a line from the midpoint to here, I can, and the drafting assistant just tries to make your next move obvious. And not only that, you can set up the drafting assistant to any parameter that you want. I could change the drafting assistant to tell me where the 10% marks are on this line. So it's incredibly powerful. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this, delete it, show you a little more powerful application of the drafting assistant. I'm going to go ahead and strike a circle here, and another circle here like so. I'm going to get the line tool and notice that when my cursor gets close to that circle it says on. When I hold down my left mouse button I strike a tangent line. I can tell you that in many CAD packages this is ridiculously hard to do. Go ahead and do another one and look there's tangent that way and I can come back and come up oh, perpendicular. Let's get tangent over right there and there we go. Center to center no problem and the drafting assistant just made that really, really easy to do. Okay, that's some simple illustrations of the drafting assistant with line work. Let's go ahead and do some solid modeling using the drafting assistant. Notice at the top of my screen it tells me what view I'm in. I'm going to go ahead and change, hit the G key, change that to trimetric, and I'm going to get a block primitive here and make this simple little block. And I'm going to make another one like so. And let's change that one to red. And now I have two little block primitives. Watch this. When I highlight this block, I can come back, and the drafting assistant knows where all these parts are. And this is just really great. So I want to take that endpoint and put it right here. And now I want to make that one part. So I'm going to do a Boolean add, where I click on that and click on that, and I've made that one part. And you can see that that's one part now. And, oh, I want to put a one-inch diameter hole right in the middle of this top face, right in here. The drafting assistant makes that so easy. I'm going to get my hole tool. Here it is, my simple hole. It's going to be through, and my uh, diameter is going to be one inch. Well, let's change it to 0.75, 0.75, three-quarters of an inch. And I want to put it right in the middle. How do we do that? Well, I'm going to click on that face, and I'm going to wake up that midpoint, and wake up that midpoint, and look, there's my intersection and I had a countersink hole. Is that cool or what? It's just amazing. I didn't do any math. It's just great. So the drafting assistant is your best friend and it makes Argon one of the easiest to use 3D modeling packages that you can buy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have fun and enjoy the drafting assistant.